Hello there, my name is Will Woodgate and today I'm just going to put together a nice short tutorial on how to get Concrete 5 running locally on your Mac through the MAMP server software. Today we're using Concrete 5.7 and this is a website for Concrete 5, it is concrete5.org. Feel free to come over onto this website and take a look at all the different information available. There's a nice little running tally here of the number of websites currently published using Concrete 5. And in the toolbar at the top here, you can also access all the documentation, the community forums, the marketplace add-ons, and various other bits and pieces, including the download links for Concrete 5. So to download Concrete 5, you can either go through the menu at the top here, or just click on the Getting Started button here, and you can download the latest version of Concrete 5, which is currently 5.7.2, as of recording this video. The other component we need today is MAMP and you can download MAMP from this website which is MAMP.info just use the link here on the home page. MAMP is quite a large download but it will download to somewhere like your desktop or your downloads folder. Just double click on the icon, follow the installation instructions and MAMP will get installed into your applications folder on your computer. So that's nice and simple to, uh, to get working. Okay then, so at this point I've got MAMP downloaded and installed on my computer and I've also downloaded Concrete 5 and that's in my downloads folder so it's time to get both these components working locally. I'll start by switching across into Finder and I'm just going to go into my downloads folder. So Concrete 5 downloaded as a .zip package. It's automatically uncompressed itself into this folder here. Just for the sake of playing things safe and keeping things simple. I'm just going to rename this to Concrete 5.7. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. And while I'm here, I'm just going to actually launch MAMP. So you just do a spotlight search for MAMP. Okay, MAMP is just a very simple little user interface like this. I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a brand new database for this new Concrete 5 installation. So to do that, you just click on the Open Web Start page here in the MAMP window. It gives us a little success message at the top to say it's all ready. There's a few details here about your database environment which are worth noting. The host, username and password will be used in a few minutes time, so just keep a note of those. Up here in the Tools menu, I'm going to go into something called PHP My Admin. Click on the Databases tab here. And where you've got the option to create a database, I'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new database. I'm going to call this Concrete 5.7. Click on the Create button. And um, that's our database all set up and ready. Okay, nothing else to do there. I'll just close that tab. And I'll close that one. So now our database is all set up and we've got MAMP set up. It's time to actually install Concrete 5. So to do that, I'm just going to switch back to Finder. I've still got my Concrete 5 folder saved in my pasteboard from a few minutes ago. So I'm just going to open my Applications folder, scroll down to MAMP. I'm going to go into the htdocs folder. I'm just going to paste my Concrete 5 folder in there like so. htdocs is the normal folder that MAMP looks in for websites. Uh, it doesn't really normally change from this unless you specifically go into MAMP and change the settings so for a lot of people you just put your your folder of your, your website into this htdocs folder and then MAMP can find it. So at this point I'm going to go back into my web browser and I'm actually going to access this Concrete 5 folder through the web browser. So to do that I'm just going to open a new tab here and I'm going to type the address localhost colon 8888 and press return. This gives us the index of the htdocs folder. So I'm just going to click on the Concrete 5.7 folder here. And at this point, we're now being prompted to install Concrete 5 on the computer. So language can be changed if needed. I'll leave it as English for now. Concrete 5 does a quick test just to make sure that our server environment meets all the minimum system requirements. And as you can see by the green ticks, we're all fine here. So I'm going to continue to installation. Site name, I'm just going to call this my website. Email address, I'll just put in my personal email address like so. Password, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to call this 
password admin and confirm it as admin. Ultimately, if you were publishing online, you'd want a nice, strong, secure password. But for testing locally, where you know nobody else can access your website, a weak password like admin is, is ideal. With regards to database information, the server will always be localhost. I say always will be. I've never used anything other than localhost, but uh, you know, possibly if you've got some other sort of configuration, you might use something else. But for most people, 99.9% .9 of people, server name is always localhost. For the database in MAMP, the username is root, and the password is also root. And then the database we set up a few minutes ago was called concrete57, like so. We've got the option here to install some sample content. If you're new to Concrete 5, I definitely recommend you go for this full site option because it does put in a lot of nice example content you can play around with. So now I'm just going to click on the Install Concrete 5 button here. Installation can take a couple of minutes. Typically I find when I'm installing it locally it's less than about 30 seconds so we'll just sit here and wait for it to do its thing tells you all along what it's doing anyway so uh, there's never any reason to panic if it does seem to be taking a long time to do something. At this stage we've got a success message displayed to say that Concrete 5 has installed. So I'm just going to click on the blue button here that says continue to your website. As you can see the first time you install Concrete 5 you have the option to watch some tutorial videos about how it all works. I'm just going to skip these for now. And we're already logged in as an admin user. You can tell that because we've got the grey admin bar displayed at the top of the page here. And indeed if I click on any of the buttons up here like the, uh, the edit controls, um, edit mode, things like that, um, everything to do with the page and things like the blocks, all this is working fine, you know, so you can go ahead now and uh, start dragging and dropping content into the page and basically building your website out. And again, I'd recommend if you've got any sort of questions about the Concrete 5 publishing platform, you want to access um, documentation at all, just go back to the website here and you can find a lot up here in the menu under Docs and learn Concrete 5. There's a whole section here about basic editing, a lot of videos and uh, tutorial guides which you can follow. So I hope this uh, video has been of help to you. There are a couple of benefits of course to installing locally. Firstly, if you're new to Concrete 5, it gives you the opportunity to experiment with it, you know, without having to commit a lot of time and energy into uploading it to a normal web server. And also from my experience, when you're building new websites, typically it takes several weeks or months to pull a good website together get it all ready and finalised, ready for publication. So it's nice being able to build your website locally before committing it to a live web server online. And in actual fact, if I just switch back to Finder, there's a tool installed in MAMP called SQL Pro. And if you double click on this, this tool basically enables you to access all of your databases, such as the databases you've set up for Concrete 5 in MAMP. So you can actually connect to the MAMP databases. You can choose a database up here. So I can choose Concrete 5.7. And as you can see, I can actually access my entire Concrete 5 database on here. And it would be possible at this point, if I wanted to, to export this database, migrate it across onto my main web server, and you know continue building the website online if I wanted to, or migrate what I finished and publish it live for the world to see. So lots of options, very flexible, you know, choose between either building online or offline. I'm finding that MAMP is the best tool for this. Very reliable, very fast, easy to use. There are other sort of competing projects and uh, products available online, but personally I find MAMP is the easiest to use. Um, like I say, very reliable, and very strong. So I hope this video has been of use to you anyway. Um, I do wish you the best of luck in starting to use Concrete 5. And if you've got any questions or comments, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below this video.